Hey guys, so this is the look we're doing today and it's very smoky but kind of pop of color-ish, kind of a little bit grungy with how smoked far down it is. But I'm in love with it. I really love this lip right now. I'm really digging it. Um, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. It's the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. And I'm like completely obsessed. I want to wear it every single day even though I don't wear lipstick every single day because that's just too much. But yeah, I really love it. I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to see. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Things like that. Um, it is a talk through. And let's get started. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah. Alright guys, so I already did my base. And today I used MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC40. And then under my eyes I used Full Coverage Foundation by MAC. Which is the same as like a Studio Finish Concealer under my eyes in NW25 and I set everything with my Cody Airspun powder. Um, I bronzed up my skin with a little bit of the mineralized skin finish by Max. One is in Give Me Sun, one's Medium Tan. Yeah, and I mixed them together and that's it. So now I have that Airspun powder under my eyes to catch any fallout. We are working with the Melt Shadow Stacks today. I have both of them now. I'm like in love with them and they're, magnet they're magnetic. So I'm just gonna use both today just to keep it one branded and do it that way. So let's get started. So from the Dark Matter stack, which is the more neutral one, I'm gonna take Blur, which is this really neutrally brown. Um, it does have a bit of a warmth to it, but on my eyelid, I feel like it's pretty neutral. And this is on my Mac 224. I'm just gonna buff this from crease all the way up to raw bone. And this is gonna be a great transition into really blur the eyeshadows as it's named. So I'm really gonna buff this out. I'm in love with these eyeshadow formulas. They're really good. Now I'm taking Unseen, which is a very warm tone brown. Reminds me of Uninterrupted by MAC, but not as like green yellow toned. It's more warm and orangey, almost terracotta without being like too warm. And I'm taking this little pointed crease brush. Um, I think it's from Crown Brushes, but it doesn't have a name on it. Obviously Morphe has brushes like this and so does Sigma. And I'm going to tilt my head back and really place this into the crease very lightly. And I'm just going to sweep it right into the crease and blend upward. And I like tilting my head back to really see where the crease is and how far I'm blending upwards. Because sometimes when you're trying to get really into the crease, you can blend the darker colors a little too high and it starts to get patchy. I like to slowly work it through the crease and then blend it up. As you can see, I am blending the darkness pretty high today, more so than I usually would. But I'm not going to do it too, too much, if that makes any sense. It's going right around the crease, because we're going to go in with some darker shades in a second. So in both stacks, there is a relatively red shade. I love red eyeshadow. I wish I could rock actual like red eyeshadow every day. But I don't. Um, this one is from the Lovesick stack, and this one is actually called Lovesick. This one is from the Dark Matter, Matter stack, and this one's Enigma. Obviously, this one's a little bit darker. Maybe if I hold them back here. This one's a little bit more of a darker Bordeaux shade, and this one's a little bit more... It's a little bit more red. I don't, I don't know how to explain this shade. But I'm going to take this one on my MAC 217. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner and start to smoke it up into the crease slowly. Um, this one is just a very, like dusty red like I don't know how to explain it there's a very nice like coolness to it and it just looks very like purpley red once it's blended out and it's beautiful it's probably one of my favorite red shadows that I own um I'm still on the hunt for like a super duper like true red shadow that doesn't pull too pink or too purple I do want to try the sugar pill one let me know what your favorite red eyeshadow is if you guys have one I do want to try it out even the one from the Morphe 350 it's still a little bit too like orangey and light I want just a true red red. So let me know what you guys like. I saw one from the NYX shadows they have, the primal colors. I haven't tried that one out, but it did look a little bit pink. So let me know. So as you can see, I'm really focusing this on the outer corner and really placing it and blending upwards. And I'm holding the brush kind of flat to really deposit and get that opacity on the outer corner and kind of disperse it where I want it. And then I'm gonna turn the brush on its side and really start to feather it up into the other transition shades that we put down. And this is what's gonna give you that very even blend and make sure that the darker colors don't start to get like patchy and gross. Not gross, but I mean 
I, I like a more seamless blend, especially when I'm using shades like this. And this, I mean, as you can see, this eye, it's, it's going to be a very, like, grungy look because of the lower lash line. But other than that, you want it to be very clean. Um, I like I like an organized grunge, if that makes sense. I like it to be very clean and blended. I'm taking a little bit of this on my larger brush. And I mean a little bit. And starting to blend it out. And I'm using a very light hand with this because I don't want it to be too strong. I just want it to be very, like, smoked out and red and, like, I, I don't know. I just love the way these colors look. I'm taking that red color one more time on my 217 on the flat side. And I'm really going to take it and just press it right on here in the outer corner because that's where you want the most opacity and it to look the most red. And then buff out the edges. And you see how beautiful, like, that color is? I saw one by Makeup Forever that was, like, kind of like this. And I want to try those, too. But it's like, why do I need all these colors? But you still need them. You know what I mean? I'm sure someone does. Someone has to get me. So I tried to go with just my melt shadows today. But I, I did want to use this shadow really bad. So this is the new Anastasia Titanium Shadow. And this is in the shade Henna. Um, I'm going to use this wet because I love the titanium form. I mean, the titanium formula by itself is amazing. But using them wet is like, it makes it into a cream. So I'm taking this brush. I think it's by Urban Decay. I think this is the Naked 3 brush. Um, I don't like the palette, but I love the brush. So I'm just going to put this as a base for the shadow we're going to use. And this is going to bring out the kind of peachy rosy tones. And the shadow we're going to use, because the shadow that we are going to use is from the Love 6 stack again. And that one is kind of like a duochrome shade. It's very peachy gold. So, the, using this kind of ready shadow as a base is really going to bring out the rosiness to it. I don't know. I just wanted to use it, so this isn't necessary at all. But I feel like it gives it more of a punch to the shadow. So you see how that color just lays down? Even this look by itself with like red on the lower lash line and like a really black liner. Ugh, so beautiful. I would love like to rock something like that. So I have that shadow laid down there. And now on the other side of the brush, I'm going to spray it again. Doesn't matter, you don't have to use the other side. I'm going to take this color, which is Amelie. And this color is ridiculous. I've used it on my face. I've used it everywhere. I like use it as a blush or like a base for like my highlighter but this shade is so beautiful and it has like so much dimension to it so I'm laying it right on top of that henna shade by Anastasia and you can see how like it's, there's just so much dimension to it I'll zoom in in a bit but there's just so much more dimension to it so now I'm taking that same unseen shade on that little pointed blending brush and I'm just going to go around the lid shades kind of to buff out the edges and then I like to reapply just to really reinforce the colors we had because as you blend sometimes the colors blend away with it and fall down onto the lid so just reapplying so to really reinforce the bronze and on my face I'm taking my Tom Ford the bronzer brush and my MAC give me sun just really bring some warmth back and make sure we're not ashy or anything like that because we don't want that. So then for contour, I'm going to be taking my little baby Nars Eda and my MAC Pro Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt. And this is it right here. It's just a very ashy brown. It's not too ashy, but it's ashy nonetheless. And I'm taking it right underneath my cheekbone and blending upwards. I always do a very soft hand and always blend upwards because you don't want your contour just to be like like cut. Like you want to be cut, but not like too cut. If that makes any sense. So same thing on this cheek. So now I'm taking a little bit of this NYX blush in the shade Terracotta and this Sigma Spotlight Duster brush. It's just a very fluffy, nice brush. I love it. And just sweep over my cheeks very lightly because I'm not a huge blush person. Just to give me a little bit of color on everyday basis, I wear no blush at all, just bronzer and highlighter. <laughs> a lot of highlighter, but 
usually when I'm doing lips on camera, I like to use a little bit of blush because I feel like it kind of completes the look, especially with like darker eye looks. And see how it adds just a little bit of color. So now I'm taking this Amelie shade, and what I'm going to do with this is use it on the same brush, and kind of like as a blush topper, but super high up. So it'll kind of be like a blush fading into like a highlight. I'm going to take my little fan brush, and then the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Honey. And this is a fan brush from Morphe. It's the M310. And put this right on the tops of my cheekbones. I need my Anastasia brush. I like this brush better. And I've kind of been bringing it down lately. Like even if I look forward, I bring it in this very downward motion. I don't know, I just feel like it's more complimentary to my face shape. Cupid's bow, chin. A little bit right here. So for eyeliner today, I randomly pulled this out. Um, it's one of the LA Girl liners. It's the Glide On Gel Liner. I love these eyeliners because they're so soft on the eyes, but they pack such a punch, it's ridiculous. But it's not too soft to where like when you're putting them on, they always break. So I just wanted to sharpen this one really quick. And then the shade that this is, is Royal Blue. This crap is ridiculous, watch. So right into the waterline. And I love these because they keep the opacity even in the waterline. Have you guys tried the ColourPop ones? Because I really want to try them because they look like amazing on everyone that's used them. But I haven't gotten them yet. So maybe I'll place a little order. Let me know if you guys want to see like a lip swatch video of like the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. A lot of you have requested it. But let me know down below if you guys want to see that. Because I know you guys love the swatch videos lately. So let me know if you want me to do like a ColourPop haul swatch video. And I will be sure to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm going into the waterline and bringing it down. I'm going to be using this purple shade called Promiscuous. <laughs> and I just wanted a base for it, honestly. So, taking this kind of down. And I like to kind of do this fast because these do set relatively fast. I like these a little bit more than the Urban Decay pencils. Just because the formula is just more intense. And they stay on a lot better. So quickly I'm going to take this shade which is the Promiscuous shade on this pencil brush. And then go right in. And buff it right over the blue. And you see how bright that is? Alright guys, so I put on my lashes and mascara, and today I'm using the House of Lashes in the style Iconic. Um, I didn't want to go too dramatic, but I didn't want to do anything that's like, underwhelming, at least for myself. Um, for lips today, I was going to do a more nude MAC lipstick, but <clears throat> today I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Um, I think I'm off camera, I'm going to line my lips with a little bit of Strip Down by MAC quickly, and I will be right back to apply the liquid lipstick. So I am applying the Jeffree Star in Celebrity Skin. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like and comment and obviously subscribe and thumbs up this video. Um, I'm really digging this lip right now. Um, again, it's Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. I didn't expect to like it this much, obviously. You don't need the lip liner, but I was just doing it to be extra. I don't even know why I did that, because I usually don't use lip liners for my liquid lipsticks. But I'm in love with this color. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you want more creative looks and things like that, please let me know down below and I will be sure to do that. And if you guys want to see more like grunge, glam, or like things like that, let me know as well because I would love to do that, like you have no idea. Um, and yeah, any lip swatch videos, any specific companies, lippies, like favorite red lipstick, favorite holiday lipstick, things like that, let me know down below too and I will be sure to do that. 
And yeah, I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to see. And I will really appreciate that. Until next time, I will see you then.